Hey everybody, Pastor Hans here, and it's true confession time. I need to tell you something, and here's what I need to tell you. I love to win. I do. I love to win. Uh, this summer, I've played more golf this summer uh, because, number one, of COVID, my boys have had more free time this past summer than they have in past years. And so it's been this great way to get together with them and do th something that we can do as a family. COVID has been a great excuse for us to spend more time together, but also to golf. And if I'm really honest, the reason I I've spent a lot of time on the golf course is this. I want to get better so I can win. And golfing with my boys, here's something uh, I've had to do. I've had to temper my frustration. Uh, rather than wrapping golf clubs around trees, I've had to temper my frustration when I'm with my boys to teach them good sportsmanship. You see, I love to win. Maybe that's why I hate seeing the Packers win every week and the Vikings lose every week. I love, I love to win. And here's what I was thinking. When it comes to winning, I think many of us, many of us like to think of faith that way as well. That faith, it's all about winning. Hey folks, thanks for tuning in to The Daily Dose. If you've been uh, tuning in this week, we've been talking all about certainty and how certainty is actually a problematic thing when it comes to the life God wants for you and the faith God wants for us. If you're watching on Facebook tonight, would you do a couple of things for me? Would you go ahead and like this post, share it? That's how we get the word out to others. If you're watching on YouTube, hit subscribe. Uh, maybe hit that little bell so you get notifications. And if you're watching on Cable Access 181, maybe you'll call a friend, invite them to watch as well. Hey. I like to win. I'm sure you like to win. And here's what I think. I think most of us, when we think of faith, we think, well, somewhere in the back sort of recesses of our mind, we think that faith is about winning. We associate being good Christians with this idea of winning, that there are winners and there are losers. We believe that faith is all about a certainty about who God is. It's about a certainty we have of who's in, who's out. It's this certainty we have when we go in and we, we have to win debates about God and about this world when it comes to faith. We feel convicted that we need to defend our faith at all costs because there are winners and there are losers when it comes to faith. There are people in the Bible that Jesus often tussles with. They're called Pharisees. They were the religious elites in Jesus's day. And they often get a really bad rap in the Bible. They get a bad rap because here's what I think. I think they're just like us. I think they're just like us. When it comes to faith, I think they had this idea that there were winners and there were losers. And what they wanted for people, although the way they went about it was maybe a little twisted, what they wanted for people was that they win, that they do all the right things, that they say all the right things, they memorize the right passages, that they live their way, their life in a way that makes them winners. You see, I think they get a bad rap because isn't that what you and I want for them? But Jesus so often is critical of these Pharisees. He's critical of them. And here's why. I think what Jesus wanted to get across to those Pharisees and to people like you and me is this. Faith isn't about winning or losing. It's not about absolute right answers a sort of either or thinking about who God is. Rather, it's about a trust, a trust in God's love for you. In fact, faith isn't necessarily about right answers at all. Maybe faith is, a, is more about a curiosity, about questioning how our world works and who God is. You see, I think for Jesus, he wanted to get across to those Pharisees that faith isn't even about conformity. It's about a God who loves the authentic you. Faith isn't about a set, defined, sort of unchanging set of values. It's not about a, 
set, unchanging way of relating to God. Rather, it's about a God who isn't finished with people like you and me yet. You see, faith isn't about having it all together. It's not about winners. It's not about losers. It's not about right and wrong. You see, I believe with all my heart, when Jesus, Jesus critiqued those Pharisees, What he was doing was suggesting, suggesting that faith isn't about certainty. Rather, it's about a God, a God who has faith in people like you. It's not about us having a certain faith. It's about the certainty God has. God has in his love for people like you and people like me. And so, folks, as we wrap up this series, The Sin of Certainty, I hope if you hear nothing else, you hear this. The life of faith isn't about right and wrong. In fact, it's not about anything you will ever do. It's not about anything you will intellectually understand about God. Faith instead is all about a certainty God has. A certainty God has in people like you and me. It's a love that that nothing will change, nothing will ever hinder. It's about a God who believes and trusts in you and me. Folks, thanks for tuning in this week. Have a great night. Shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up, coming after me. No wall.
ball you won't kick down lie you won't tear down coming after me no shall you Yeah.